Hello there, welcome to another bench test and review. Now you may remember we've sorted out the uh, the rear fan in this computer and we've gone for the Xylance Red Wing 92mm fan. That works very well, it kicks out enough air at 7 volts and isn't too noisy at 12 volts. And I want a similar solution to the front. Now I've tried various different fans. The first one we tried was this Spire 120 millimeter fan. I then tried this Thermaltake Thunderblade 120 millimeter LED fan, and I've been running this for the last couple of weeks, and it's noisy. Even on 7 volts, it's just too noisy. But it does kick out the CFMs of, um, you know, between that and the Spire, this kicks out 78 CFM, and I think the Spire kicks out 65.78. So it certainly cools, though I have noticed that in this case, the front fan seems to do a very good job of cooling the hard drives, but isn't so good at actually, or rather has less effect at cooling the CPU. That's all to do with getting the air out more than pulling the air in. So anyway, I'm not too happy with the thermal take Thunderblade. So because I like the Xylance 92 millimeter so much, I've gone for this one, which is a Xylance 120 millimeter LED fan. Now I could have gone for the Red Wing, but I quite like the idea of having LEDs in the front. My plan is to try and open up the front of the case a bit um, to improve airflow through it. And that will also mean that the LED will show through as well. So I thought that would be a rather good effect to complement the, uh, the blue bubble lights on the front of the case. And I've also got some blue LED feet as well. So I guess silver and blue is the theme for this particular computer. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, basically connect all these fans up on the bench. And we'll just have a listen and have a look as well. And um, you know, let's just try and compare them on the bench top. And we'll see if this Xylance fan is going to be the solution. Okay, let's, so let's start by testing the Spire 120mm fan, and um, let's see what that sounds like. I don't know if you guys can hear that. But that's a pretty noisy fan. It's supposed to run, I think, at um, 21 decibels. I'll just check the back of the box. Yeah, they're supposed to run at 21 decibels. But I think that's a bit loud for 21 decibels. It's louder than my CPU fan, which is rated at 24. So that's that one. Let's move on to the Thermal Take Thunderblade. Okay, so let's fire this one up. Well, as you can probably see there, that, that won't even stay up by itself. Um, and it certainly kicks out some air because I've got to hold that with my hand to stop it falling over. But that is louder than the Spire fan by a long chalk. And also, I like the LEDs, but I don't like them flashing. So that doesn't have the visual effect that I'm looking for either. However, I could have coped with that if the fan was quiet, but it isn't. So that leaves us with the Xylance 120mm blue LED fan. Okay, so we've got the Xylance fan running. And that is the quietest of the three by a long chalk. Rated at 21 decibels, like the Spire fan, but it's quieter. So I guess that shows you can't always rely on the manufacturer's stats. It's the lowest CFM of the three. I think this is about 45. It's somewhere in that area. But I'm prepared to sacrifice that because this is a whole lot quieter. So, again, it's Zylans is the winner. And I'm going to stick that in the case and see how we get on. <laughs> 